since we began the Literacy First process in 2000, we have charted increases in student achievement every single year. So that would be eight consecutive years of increase in our student performance. We started in 2000, we were the lowest performing school of 15 area schools in our area that had similar demographics. And for about the past four or five years, we've been the leader of the pack, and we are most proud of that. Uh, most recently, we received this past year an Academic Achievement Award in the state of Oklahoma for accelerated student achievement and had the third greatest increase in student performance for schools our size and each of my teachers received a thousand dollars cash bonus from the State Department of Education. I think the most profound intangible result would be the impact that it's had on the culture and the climate in the building. Initially we could excuse away any student performance that we didn't like and you know we would list all of those typical things like oh well that's an ELL child or he's on an IEP or he comes from an impoverished home and we used those as reasons to make ourselves feel better that our performance wasn't what we wanted it to be that the kids weren't doing as well and we really have just transformed the culture so that now we have a situation so that the test scores come back and we're at 97, 98 percent scoring satisfactory and the teachers are like, yes, that's good, and immediately start looking at who is in that two percent and what do we have to do differently to show the increase there. So it really has just had a profound difference on the way that we approach our job and the expectations that we have for everyone to excel and learn to read and be reading on grade level.